So the next series of videos is going to be about awards. Um, we've had a few requests about, uh, we've had a few requests from the field about doing some, some videos on awards. And so we've, we've broken it up into about four or five videos. And this first one is going to be adding records to their profile or putting awards that they currently have in their soldier record. So once IPSE goes live, there will still be a need um, to be able to do this. Not all awards are gonna be processed through IPSE. Uh, what we need to do is just go over real quick how to add an award to their record brief or to their file. And um, this would occur because they got an award outside of IPSE. This would occur because the brownout cutover tasks didn't you know, work perfectly. Um, or perhaps somebody came back on active duty and that migration didn't work out well either. So they, the, the key point is that they have the, the, the key supporting documents uh, to provide to you to input into IPSE. And so for this task, we need to be an HR supervisor or an HR system admin. Uh, an HR pro would not be able to make these adjustments to a soldier's um, record unless that row class or that permission was added into their access request. So this is real simple. We're just going to add a couple of wards. A lot of it will look familiar, so uh, we'll get right to it. So I'm logged in as an HR Pro. I'm going to just click on the, um, the tab up here and select HR Professional. And then I am going to go down to Profile Management, the Profile Management tile. And once this pops up, I'm just gonna pop in the information for the person I want and search for them. Now here there are quite a few tabs and each of these has its own purpose and we'll likely make videos for most of these, but for right now, we're just gonna focus on awards. So when we click on this awards tab, it's gonna pull up all of the various types of awards. Now when I said this looks familiar from Emilpo, we have campaign service awards, combat skills and badges, and those were all uh, menu choices you made first in email po, and then there was a cascading uh, menu that provided the awards within that category. So this is not any different. And so we're just going to add a new military decoration, and we'll click on this hyperlink here. And when the screen pops up, this is what um, we need the key supporting document for, or key supporting documents. So we'll add the effective date of the award, and we'll just pick a random date here. Uh, we'll pick uh, 2020, May 12th. And then we have the choice to the search menu for the military decoration type. And as you can see, these are all of the military decorations. This would be the same menu that would appear in email po. So we're gonna scroll down and give this individual an ARCOM. If I can just find it. Sound off if you see it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so ARCOM, Army Combination Medal. All right, and the ordinal value is whether that's the first, second, third, fourth award. So this will be the first award. Um, it's an active award. Uh, the country, we're just gonna type in United States. It's an original order type. And then we would use the key supporting document to put the order's date. So we'll just go ahead and pop that in there. And then the order's number would come from the document. So now we'll add the order number and we'll just make it up and we will hit okay to finish or we can apply and add another. So if we had, you know, a couple AAMs, a couple ARCOMs, things like that, we could continue to stack them over and over again. So we didn't have to keep going in and out. Um, but for this instance, we're just going to click okay. We have one award and now it's been added here. You can see now one thing to remember is we have to click save on this. Otherwise, it, it will prompt you to ask you if you want to save, but you want to click save on here before you decide to go to another tab. So if you're really working on someone's records going in, in between these tabs, just make sure you click save before you go to the next, um, the next edit. Um, and then what we'll also do real quick while we're in here is um, we'll go ahead and look for combat skill badges. Okay, and this is going to be, I mean, you guys are all pretty familiar with this. So I can go ahead and pick the day and we'll pick the badge and we'll just go ahead and give them the first one we see there, air assault badge. Okay, um, first award obviously. I'm not sure you can get air assault badge with oak leaf cluster. All right, we're gonna type in USA, put in the order date and then the order number. All 
Okay. And we'll click OK. And now we've added an air assault badge and an ARCOM to their record uh, because those either occurred outside of IPSA or the migration didn't occur correctly when they came in the active duty or when IPSA went live. So any of those reasons you would want to add, be able to add this. And we'll go ahead and click save. And so there it is. We have successfully saved those profile changes uh, that do not require approval. And that's it. That's how simple it is. Very similar to, um, well, I think the process is almost identical to what you would do in Emilpo. It's just the look and feel is a little bit different um, within Ipse. Uh, do me a big favor, please. Uh, we are pushing these videos on uh, AGTube or YouTube, so please go ahead and subscribe. Let us, uh, leave us some comments. We've also created a uh, sub-site on S1Net or MillSuite uh, where we post the videos to Mill2 and then we post... Uh, content with regards to this training. Uh, so if you could just go ahead and click the follow the stream so you can get those updates. Um, ask questions, let us know. I've received a few emails from the field um, where they find these videos pretty helpful. I appreciate that. If you're one of those that sent the email, uh, I want you to know that I do appreciate that. I'm glad that there's some value in these videos for you. Um, go ahead and click the subscribe button. We're on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Defend and Serve.